Hey Ricky, guess what? It's Vlogmas. Good morning, happy vlogmas. Turn you a little. Oh, it's early for me. I've been getting up late lately. But uh, my daughter got up and the dogs hurt her. So the dogs are up, so I'm up. But I think she took her wicket out for a walk. First, an early morning walk. Because they got down here and found nobody. Nobody's here. So, I thought I'd take advantage of the quiet and open my advents. I apparently made a mistake yesterday because today's the 23rd. Happy December 23rd. But this says the 22nd and it turns out I opened the 23rd yesterday. And this is hard. And it's got a little pin on it that says knitter. Isn't that cute? I'll take it off so you can see it because it's about the same color as the... <coughs> Thank you, Susan. Um, it's got something hard inside. I don't know what that would be. But it's... It's yarn mini size, so we shall see. Oh, how cute. It's an ornament. Ha 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 Oh, thank you, Susan. What a good idea. <coughs> I will hang that on my monkey lamp, which has a couple ornaments on it. Since I don't have a tree this year. Merry Christmas. Yeah. 23. Crazy. So I think we might be doing something today. Christy wants to go to the um, stitching shop. I have a stitching shop. It's about 40 minutes from me, so it's not super close. But it's in Lancaster County, so it's a beautiful drive. And she, where she is in Mississippi, she has no, nowhere to go to find nice floss and look at it in person. So even though this is mainly a cross-stitching store and she does embroidery, she's very excited. The, this is from Megan. I think it's actually Alice's yarn, so it's Bleeding Art yarn. I used it in my Stephen West jumper. Another one I'm not so sure of. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty color. That's a beautiful color. Yeah. And package day from 
man. A needle gauge. I've never seen one like this. And it also has a, um, because I have to actually blow it. Wiping won't do. Oh. Huh. Cool. And then, and then you can do your gauge swatch too. My gauge swatches that are big fat liars. Maybe they won't be big fat liars if I use this. Thank you, Sandy. Oh, and another charm. Oh, these are so lovely. I put my uh, <clears throat> my llama away in the box. Everything moved into Susan's big box, so that's pretty. It's kind of blowing out a little. I don't know what the sneezing means at this point. Very pretty. Thank you so much, ladies. I cannot tell you how much I have enjoyed doing this Advent. Every morning has been so lovely. And I have a huge, huge pile of yarn. I'm gonna have to um, dump it all out on my chair. I think I'm gonna move it from my V's to the bag that Megan gave me the knitting with all the sheep on it because um, first of all my it's so jammed in that vase that it's crazy but the second thing is that I can't pick a specific yarn I might want for my next stripe because I can only pick the top yarn <coughs> so I may go to something else certainly not appropriate for a long-term solution to my minis that I'm using. Now, if, if I were just gonna look at them, it would work out, right? So anyway, so we're gonna take a ride to Strasbourg today to look at, to go to the cross-stitch store, so. I may be doing some shopping. I get to shop there. And, um, Rich has started doing some woodworking. He's very new at it, but he's very interested in it. And so they happen to mention, do you have, you know, any wood woodworking stores around? And of course, we have an amazing lumber yard, if you want to call it that. You could call it a lumber yard um, that Dennis found when he was started working in his wood shop. And, I mean, it has the most amazing woods in it. Um, on their website, they say they have over 100 kinds of hardwood, both domestic and, and in, um, imported. And Dennis has gotten some gorgeous woods. And... Um, the last time we were there, I told the ladies in the office that I needed to work in their office because I wanted to work at one of those amazing desks. <coughs> their desks are so gorgeous. And the one woman laughed and said, oh yeah, my desk is more beautiful than the, than the Fortune 100 CEOs. And she's not wrong. So hopefully we'll go there too, if Rich is up for a trip. But he doesn't want to really buy any wood now, so it would just be a window shopping for him. But if we do that, Dennis will go. It won't be window shopping for Dennis. <laughs> <coughs> and it's out in the same general direction as Strasbourg, so we may have quite the adventure. Um, so that's nice for I'll be able to show you something. We'll, so we'll see downtown Strasbourg dressed up for Christmas and go to the to the shop, so that'll be lovely. Um, as you saw in my opening sequence, I shouldn't be pouring my water while I'm looking through my camera, because apparently I'm not that good at that. <laughs> but everything was rescued. So, I'm gonna start my day. Maybe I can get some work on Christy's mid-in before she gets back. And I hear some noises upstairs, so 
Rachel must be getting up because I know it's not Venice. So anyway, I'm gonna start my day and you can start yours. The new embroiderer looking the fancy, <laughs> fancy floss. She just started doing embroidery in July and yeah. it's so gorgeous, but she lives in, can I say Podunk, Mississippi? <laughs> Does that mean? It's actually not Podunk, Mississippi, which is the sad part. Oh, it's There's a nice just a dearth. Of dearth of places. So places this is the lovely shop called HodgePodge in Strasburg, Pennsylvania. Rich is looking up my DMC numbers for me to see if I can figure it out. They mostly have cross stitch here, which is lovely, but lots of embroidery threads and buttons and all. There's a few embroidery things in that middle one hanging on that shelf that's in there. So I'm getting some threads and who knows what else. I got two kits from here. Oh shoot, I was going to look to see which of the Christmas Santas I had bought before so I don't buy the same one again because I thought I might get one, but we shall see. So we're going in to get Dennis's milks for his kefir and his yogurts and whatever the heck else he's making us. This is our fancy store. Oops, I need a cart. We need a cart because we're getting lots of milk. He's got the return. This is like old fashioned milk time, like when we were kids, when you got your milk in big, heavy milk jars and then you had to return them and exchange them. And that's what we are going to be doing. When it's our turn. There's Pearl, she got, she and Maisie got a new snake from lovely David. What do you think? She loves it. Maze hasn't gotten a hold of it much, so. Maze doesn't know how she feels about it. But thank you, David. Christy and I got some beautiful threads. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with these and they look very close, but they're all very different. Cloud and Frosted Sage and Icicle and Snowflake. And then Cole so I can finish my Behold for Rich. And then I got the DMCs that are still available that I didn't find for my 12 Days of Christmas. So I'm gonna have to put a, together a list of the old DMCs that I can't find anywhere and ask those of you with a old stash of DMC to take pictures of those colors so I can find a, a similar color and do my 12 days of Christmas or I'll just wing it which I can do too and I also got a kit isn't this cute I do like me a martini martini <laughs> so it's a kit with all the stuff so that's fun so that's what we got, and we're going to soon have buffalo thighs, smoked buffalo thighs for an appetizer, and then salmon for dinner. And then sit and stitch. We're going to stitch tonight. That's our plan. So I hope you all had a wonderful day, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Oh, my gosh. Happy Advent.